Don't go this way. Boo, stay away. You stay away from her. You stay away, boo. Be nice. Be nice. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I just got Sammy into a pet carrier. So this is a backpack pet carrier that I got at Five Below. I don't know uh, how good this mesh is going to hold up to a cat's claws. But it was like $12. I thought I would test it out. So I'm going to take her out of the room because she's been really unhappy in here. She doesn't want to stay in this room. She's just been meowing and crying and crying and crying. So I was finally able to pick her up and get her in. So now let's let's move her out. I just brought her into this room. So Simba's on the cat tower. Stella's in the room. Oh! Boo! So the zipper on that thing does not hold. She got right out of the zipper. She got right out of that zipper. Come on, Sammy, you wanna go back in your room? You wanna go back in your room? Here, you gonna go back in? Where are you gonna go, Sammy? Now we got problems. Now we got problems. Here's Sammy. Here's Sammy and Boo's in the room. Boo, be nice. Be nice, Boo. Don't go this way. Boo, stay away. You stay away from her. You stay away, Boo. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Everybody be nice, okay? Everybody be nice. Be nice, Boo. Where are you going, Sammy? You going back in your room? Sammy! Good boy, Bill. Good boy. So the door to downstairs is open, which means if I shut this door, I could have her downstairs. And there's cat carriers down there, so I could put her in a real cat carrier and get her back into her room. Like, this is not on my schedule for today. Here's the carrier. Here you could see that the zipper is zipped, and here it's not zipped. She just pushed her, she pushed her way out the zipper. Just completely opened the zipper. And then down here on the bottom, the zipper zipped again. So it's like she just pushed her way out of the middle here. This is a piece of garbage, and it's going back. So here she is. She's just sitting here looking at Stella. Stella's sitting underneath the kitchen table. Stella's growling. Go back in, Sammy. Go ahead, jump the gate. You could go. It's 11.19 a.m. and I was finally able to pick Sammy up. What happened was she was in the corner of the kitchen smelling underneath the door to downstairs. And I guess she was distracted by that. So I was able to grab her really fast, pick her up and dump her in the room. <laughs> Boo's walking by. And uh, put the gate back up. I also put some food in the room for her. So now she's just going to need to relax because I have other things to do today. I cannot deal with keeping her safe from the other cats attacking her. And once again, my concern is not so much Stella and Simba, it's Boo, just because of his past history of fights and violence. So she's just going to have to chill out. You're going to have to chill out. There's Boo. Boo's totally unfazed by it. He's like, la-dee-da. I opened up the door to my room, and he's just on the cat tower, very happy. Look at this. What's he going to do now? So when I put some crunchies on the floor, Simba was, like, getting mad and hissing. And then she hissed back at him. Look at this. I think Boo's definitely interested. It's just... All of his interactions are going to have to be monitored and, um, until he could prove himself trustworthy. I know you're nervous, Boo. I know you're nervous. Come here. I just gave everyone some temptations near the door just because Sammy was crying. Boo's hissing. Growling. They're hissing at each other. Sammy's hissing back. Boo wants those treats. It's like a crunchy standoff. Is he going to put his paw under the gate and get them?
Sammy's backing away. Sammy's backing away very carefully. She needs to understand that she's not the alpha of the house. Who's very agitated right now. See? He wants to put his paw under there and get those other treats. Sammy's on the other side of the room. That's Siggy. Let's see? He's letting him know. Those are my treats. You can't have them. Sammy's looking mad. She's laying down on the other side of the room, looking very mad. It is 12.05, and I put a pom-pom in the room because Sammy was crying because she wanted the pom-pom. And these cats can't have pom-poms. This is what Richard did to the pom-pom. Spit it out, Richard. Spit it out. Now he has some of this in his mouth. Might have to go in and get it out. Spit it out, Richard. Spit it out. Don't eat it. Spit it. It's 2.30 p.m. Ziggy and Sammy are curled up together by the window. Everyone's taking a nap right now. The whole house is nice and calm. Here's Stella. She's on the bed. Hey, Stella. Here's Boo. He's on the bed. Hey, Boo. There's Splash. Hey, Splash. It's 2.30 p.m. Ziggy is sleeping on Sammy. Can you see her? She's using Sammy like a pillow. I'm sitting here editing a video and look who's helping me. It's Boo. Hey, Boo.
Don't knock the camera over.
There you go. Come on out. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.38 a.m. And I'm just about to open the gates. Here comes Sammy. She's been climbing the gates this morning. It's like a rock climbing wall for cats. Um, Stella, Simba, and Boo are eating downstairs. Splash is eating in my room. I don't know why he wants to do that. Um, so the door to my room is shut. And I'm going to let these uh, cats come out and walk around. All right. Okay, move over. Move over, we don't jump gates. Move over, we walk out like ladies. There we go. And gentlemen, oh there's some crunchies. They found some crunchies. Is that everybody? Did Ringo come out? It's 10, 10 a.m. and today was actually very easy to get all the cats back in the room. I guess they were good and hungry, especially Sammy. Um, so what happened was I was cleaning out the room and then at one point, all of them were in the room anyway. Uh, there were six of them underneath the day sofa and Sammy was by the window. I guess something spooked them. And so then I was like, okay, if they're in, they're in. So I shut the door. Then I was going in and out a few times and then Sammy ran out of the door. So I was like, all right, I'll just open the door. They still have time, you know. Um, so then they were wandering around. I put the food together. And then I put the food down. And um, Ringo was the only one not in the room. So all I have to do is kind of walk around. And he, um, he just runs into the room. So thankfully the house is kind of set up like a big circle. You know, you could go from room to room to room to room. And then circle back to uh, this room. So I'm going to leave so uh, Ringo can eat before everyone else eats all the food. Okay, guys. And there's Boo. I don't know where anyone else is. Good job, Boo. Good job, Boo. It's 8.10 p.m. I'm just about to take the gates down. Stella, Boo, and Simba are eating downstairs. Splash is in my room with the door shut. I don't know why he does not want to go down to eat anymore. Hey, Sammy. <laughs> Here's Sammy. Sammy's like, let us out. It's time. So I'm going to open the gates. Okay, I'm coming. Get down. Get down. I can't open the gates when you're climbing them. Get down. We don't jump fences. We don't jump fences. We are ladies. We are ladies. Okay, everybody out. Everybody out. Come on out. Everybody out. Come on out. Come on, guys. Come on out. Hello, Sammy. She just rubbed on my legs. Come on out, everybody. So. There's a little light on in their room. It's not totally dark. It's just very dim. All right. Is everybody coming out? Do we get everybody? I'm opening the door. So, I think I am not going to scoop the litter tonight. I've been scooping it twice a day, which has been fine. But I want to see what happens if I don't scoop it for 24 hours because like what would happen if I go on an overnight trip um I wouldn't be able to scoop it for 24 hours these two don't look that bad right now and these two don't look that bad so we're gonna see what happens so what I have been noticing is um when I scoop them in the morning they're like full of clumps and poop but when I've been scooping them in the evening like around 5 p.m right before it gets really dark out there's like nothing to scoop so that's why I'm just going to see if we can do 24 hours now. Now that they're on more of a routine, they're not eating as much as they were in the past. They're not getting like three huge meals a day. They're getting two normal meals and then a snack at night. It's 9 p.m. All the cats are in the room eating. This was the easiest time I ever had to get them back in the room. So um, they were wandering around for a while and then we had playtime on the play rug in the living room with a wand toy. And they were running and jumping and really enjoying themselves. And then I was like, um, okay, after that, um, I'll put their food together and 
give them their food. And it's so funny because what happens is when I put their food together, Boo is knocking on the door. Here comes Simba too. Good job, Boo. Good job. You're a good man. Good man, Boo. Good man. So what I was saying was that it's funny because when I put their food together in the kitchen, they come and like they look at me like Eva and the Torties and Sammy, like they run into the room, stand a few feet away from me and they look at me when oh, Nancy too. It's usually just the girls. The girls come into the room and then they look at me like, what are you doing? Are you giving us food? Then if I move, they run out of the room, but then they run right back. And then when I have the platters all ready to go and I walk out of the kitchen into this room with the platters, it's like they get so excited. They just like start running in and out of the room. It's so funny. Like they don't even know what to do with themselves. They're just like running, running, running. And then when I put the platters on the floor, then they all just kind of like swarm on the platters. And today it was easy because they all were in the room. Like they all came into the room. Uh, Ringo was underneath the day sofa, so I just had to check to make sure he was under there. But other than that, like I didn't even have to chase Sammy around or Richard or anything. So I think they're definitely learning, which is good. So they're eating their dinner and then I'll let them relax a little bit. Then I'll clean up their plates and yeah, that'll be up. It's 1020 and let me show you what I did. I don't know if you could see it because it's kind of dark in their room. Um, but that flingamajig, uh, flingamastring, whatever it's called, that toy. Um, so I, I slid it under the gate and then I have it hooked here. Well, it was hooked here. It was hooked here so they can't pull it. So it's, it's attached to the bottom of the gate and they can't pull it um, like into the room. And right now there's five of them. There was six of them playing with it, uh, but Ringo just ran off. Um, and they're really enjoying it. So this is great because what was happening was Sammy, Nancy, and one of the torties was by the door and Sammy kept climbing the gates. And they're looking at the gates like, well, we want to come out, we want to come out. So I was like, let me put this toy on for them. And this toy stays on until I shut it off. Um, the other toys, some of them only last like 10 minutes and you know then they lose their interest but this one they're really interested in right now and it'll stay on until I shut it off so while I'm doing other things right now this will keep them entertained hopefully hopefully it'll keep them entertained can you see what's going on in there see all the cats can you see what they're doing they're all playing It is 7.45 a.m. and last night was the first night that the gates were in the door all night. Yep. Um, part of the night was spent with the door shut. See how they shut the door? Um, it was pretty much shut. It wasn't like fully shut because they were able to reopen it. But um, for part of the night, here's Boo. Boo's like, what's going on? So pretty much all day yesterday, the gates were in the door and then all night and everyone slept all night. It was a very quiet night. I woke up a few times and it was just super, super quiet. I shut off all the lights in this room with the kittens and all the other cats were sleeping. So maybe they got the idea that they could sleep. Even this morning, there wasn't a whole lot of like noise or anything. So I don't know if it's because the doors were open. Hey, Sammy. It shows how you like to climb. Boom. <laughs> she likes to climb and then just jump down. So, um, yeah, I'm getting ready for my day right now. And when I get to the part of my morning routine where I take the gates off and let the cats out, then they're going to come out. But right now, I have to get ready for my day. And the other cats have to... Uh, go downstairs and eat their food and then I'll let these guys out. Mm -hmm. These gates are on pretty good so hopefully they're not going to be able to like get the gates down and make them extra tight. And I honestly don't mind if they climb the gates. It's good exercise for them. Right guys? They're most of the they've been mostly by the window this morning like looking out. And I also have to scoop the litter today and see what happened. Um 
It'll be 24 hours. Oh, there goes Nancy. Do you see Nancy? Is Nancy going to show us her diving skills? Nancy, are you going to dive? Here she goes. Here she goes. You going to dive? Boom. <laughs> she loves doing that. <laughs> How you doing, Ziggy? So Ziggy's right here. Ziggy loves playing with the wand toys. So when I let them out of the room and um, I let them walk around a little bit and then I grab a wand toy and I play with them on the rug, Ziggy loves it. She absolutely loves it. It's 8.45 a.m. So the cats are downstairs eating their breakfast. <laughs> Look at Sammy. Splash is in my room. And I'm going to open the gates and let the cats out. Come on, Sammy, move over. There you go. Come on out. Come on, Nancy. Ringo, come on. Everybody out. Let's go. Run around the house. Go ahead, there's no cats up here. Run around. It's 8.30 p.m. All seven cats are eating dinner in the room. So they just had about an hour of free time um, roaming around the house and then playing. I bought some new wand toys online and they arrived today. So we were playing with the new wand toy and they pulled feathers out of it within 10 minutes. And they had a really good time. And so then I put the food platters together, stood in the room for maybe a minute, not even. All the cats pretty much came into the room I put the platters down and then they started eating so then I put the gates back in the door. Meanwhile, somebody is banging on the door because they want to come into the kitchen. That was Boo. And there's Splash, Simba, and Stella. Come on up guys! So for dinner tonight, the cats are having the Merrick rabbit pate and they're also having the Nature's Promise chicken morsels i think they're the chicken morsels or like chicken shreds something like that and then they have a teaspoon of crunchies on top that's the same exact thing that the other cats had for dinner also i thought all of you were such nice cats but you're not it's just an act you guys put on this act like you're so sweet and you're so nice but you're not you're vicious Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 8.20 a.m. Good morning, Stella. She slept there all night on top of this cat condo. And there's Splash on top of his favorite sofa cushion. Hey, doing Splashy? He's kind of behind this pillow, this blue pillow. So I guess he feels like he can hide here. How you doing? You comfortable, Splashy? Splash, are you comfortable? Here's Boo. Boo got some pets. And then here are the gates in the door. Sammy's been climbing them. Not time to come out yet, Sammy, okay? She's going to show you what a good climber she is. She gets all the way to the top of this gate. Boom. And then she jumps down. And she repeats that process. You guys will come out soon, okay? I'm still getting ready for my day, okay? Once I'm ready for my day, then you guys could come out, okay? All right. There's Goldie. She's stretching. Hey, Goldie. There's Nancy. I don't know if this is focusing on the cats. There's Ziggy. She's on top of this little table. How you doing? You okay, Sammy? Here she goes. Here she goes. It's like a rock climbing wall for cats. Boom. <laughs> and let's see. Who's by the window? Two cats by the window. It is Eva and Ringo. 
You gonna you gonna climb again? Here. And pets. Okay. You you just relax. It's 8.30 a.m. and I wanted to show you all of the cats lined up by the window. They were all by the window looking out, but when they see me here with the camera, they come running to the door, so they still have to wait. I'm still getting ready for my day. I thought I was going to make raw food for the cats today, but I might make it tomorrow because I just found like three or four pints of the raw food in the freezer downstairs. And I just wanted to show you how wonderful these paper containers are. So I bought them in two sizes, an 8 ounce and 16 ounce. And I bought them specifically for when I make the homemade raw food to freeze the homemade raw food in these containers. And it's been working out so wonderfully. I'm just so happy that I uh, thought of this. And the only reason I thought of this is because I had purchased a pint of the Boss Cat uh, frozen raw food for cats and it came in a 16 ounce container so not only do I use these containers for the homemade raw food that I make but I roasted a whole bunch of pumpkin when pumpkins were on sale um, between Halloween and Thanksgiving so I have pints of homemade roasted pumpkin um, I have cooked cat food that I have frozen um, here we have gizzards hearts liver so when I buy these ingredients to make my homemade raw food I buy them like you know two pounds three pounds at a time because that's the size of the containers and then I put them in portions that I need for um, the cat food recipe that I make I usually make between 12 and 15 pounds of food and I'll use like eight ounces of hearts eight ounces of liver and then about eight ounces of gizzards sometimes I don't use the gizzards I only use hearts and liver but this makes it really easy to keep the inventory on hand frozen so I just take it out when I need it so these are like the last three that I have of these ingredients so I just have to make a note of that and then know uh, to buy more the next time I'm out and around the store that sells those. So yeah, these paper cups are just so great with regards to making homemade cat food. It is 9.45 a.m. I'm just about to let the cats out. The other cats are eating their breakfast downstairs. All the litter boxes have been scooped except for the ones in this room. And everyone has fresh water except for the water bowl in this room. Splash is eating in my bedroom. I don't know. He's been weird like that lately. He had dinner downstairs with everyone yesterday. But I don't know. I think he's adjusting to the kittens. And he, you know, he's still very scared of a lot of things. So uh, let me let these guys out. Okay, come on. Listen. Get down. Ladies don't jump gates. Come on. Ladies.
for breakfast today. The cats are having canned food because I forgot to defrost raw food. They're having the Nature's Promise um, on top of, I think it's Paws and Claws from Tractor Supply. And then they're having crunchies. So how many cats do I have? One, two, three, four. One, hold on. One, two, six, seven. I have all seven. Okay. All right, guys, come on. Let's eat. There we have it. All seven cats in the room eating their breakfast. I'm going to put the gates on the doors and we're good. You're staying in there. So there they are. Happily eating their breakfast. They had time to walk around on their own, explore the house. We had some playtime. And I got to clean the room, except the vacuum. There's a pom-pom stuck in the vacuum. And the vacuum's not working right, so I couldn't vacuum this room. So I have to figure out how to get the pom-pom out today. And then I'll be able to vacuum it either later or tomorrow. Okay, so here's the deal. Splash is underneath the dining room table, and all the cats, all the kittens are out. It's about 8.30, and Splash has been in my room, and he was crying... So I opened the door to see how he was, and he zoomed out of the room and kind of ran around the house, and he's under the dining room table. I think he's more afraid of the kittens than they are of him. So hopefully there won't be any fights. He's just hanging out right now. We'll see what happens. Richard is over here. I know it, it's dark, and I don't want to freak anyone out by putting, like, the bright lights on but Richard is right here and there's Splash he's the white Richard's here Splash is there who's growling Richard I hope he's not gonna attack Splash Richard so here's Splash he's in the living room and Richard attacked him so I'm just trying to keep the other cats away from him I got to there's Sammy I don't trust Sammy. All right, I just got everyone in the room. Well, when I was yelling uh, for Richard and Splash to break it up, uh, most of the kittens ran straight into this room. Sammy was the last one. She was just outside with Splash, and I don't trust her now. So um, what I had to do is I had to just chase her around the house, and she ran right into this room. So they're in this room. And I really don't appreciate Richard's bad behavior for attacking Splash, but I have to tell you, um, that was very brave of him. I can't believe how brave Richard was to attack Splash like that. That was crazy. And uh, yeah, so now I'll put some dinner together for them and I'll let the other cats upstairs. What's the matter with you, Richard? Richard, what is the matter with you that you're attacking Splash like that? Splash didn't hurt you. He didn't hurt you. It's okay, Nancy. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Just brought in some dinner, so they're having a variety of different canned food, like a bunch of stuff that was left over in the refrigerator and some crunchies on top. Richard, I'm mad at you. Richard, I'm mad at you for attacking Splash. Splash did nothing to you, Richard. Nothing. Okay, is everybody here? I thought you guys were nice cats. I thought all of you were such nice cats, but you're not. It's just an act. You guys put on this act like you're so sweet and you're so nice, but you're not. You're vicious. You guys are a vicious gang. Okay? Okay. Richard, you're going to apologize? Richard, you're going to apologize? Richard, you're going to apologize to Splash? Say you're sorry to Splash. Richard, tell Splash you're sorry. It is almost midnight, and here's Splash. He's sleeping on his favorite sofa cushion. So he was freaked out for a little while after Richard attacked him, but then he loosened up a little bit and 
he had some crunchies and he got some pets and now he's gonna relax here on the sofa cushion it'll take a little bit of time but it's just like humans he'll get over it and you know hopefully tomorrow will be a better day right splash I did get to pet him so there doesn't seem to be any like wounds or anything on him he's walking normal he's acting normal so that's good so as far as the kittens go they have been very very quiet tonight it's like they know something is wrong and they know they're in trouble so they've just been keeping a very low profile richard was hanging out by the door for a while but no one has been meowing no one is crying no one's been climbing the gates like it's a very subdued vibe right now right now because i'm talking to the camera and because i'm standing here filming now all of a sudden there's like activity and you can see sammy's trying to climb the gates but prior to this all night they were like completely quiet so i brought them a snack let's see what's going on look at this richard is rubbing up all against me trying to butter me up uh here's nancy nancy's a good girl good girl nancy there's sammy and there's Ziggy. She's been hanging out there tonight. She loves that pillow. That's her favorite spot. There's little Eva in the corner. Look at that. How did that bed get over there? That was underneath the day sofa. Now it's near the litter boxes. So today I made a big pot of homemade chicken broth. And then this is some chicken liver and chicken hearts that were in the chicken broth. Because it was a whole chicken with some of the giblets inside. So I always throw the giblets into the pot with the chicken. And um, so this is some of those cooked giblets. Richard, why did you attack Splash? Why did you attack him? So what Richard told me earlier with regards to why he attacked Splash is because Richard said he was tired of Splash growling at him and hissing at him through the gate. That's what Richard told me. Richard says he doesn't think it's right that the other cats do that. And he's tired of it. Richard, I thought you were a nice boy. I thought you were such a nice boy, Richard. I am so disappointed in you. So I just put the bed here on the desk. I wonder if anyone would lay in it up here. So they just knocked the little plate of cooked chicken liver and chicken hearts out of my hand. And they're eating them. Chicken liver are considered safe to eat when it has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I did not say that name, so I don't know why she's talking to me. Um, anyway, what I was saying is they're eating them. The other cats won't eat them. So, these cats like them. That's good. It's really good that they're eating a lot of stuff that would normally go to waste. Look at what's going on with this cat condo. Something's moving. What is that? Who is that? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.39 a.m. Look at Ziggy. She's laying in the cat bed that I put on the desk. That's so cute. Nancy is on the day sofa and some of the cats are by the window. And it was a very, very quiet night. I looked at the security camera footage this morning and there were like hours when there was no movement in this room at all. So I think everyone was sleeping. I think the general mood and vibe is that, um, you know, it's still off from Richard attacking uh, Splash last night. I think they know they did something wrong because, you know, I was yelling for them to break it up. There's Richard right now. He's splitting. Um, and, you know, they've never heard me yell at them like that. 
so that was a first for them. But, you know, I'm not going to have um, Richard just attacking Splash. Of course, it could have been a Dominus thing where Richard's, you know, trying to be like, well, you know, don't think you're going to be dominant on us. But it really felt like, I don't know, maybe the cats were ganging up on uh, Splash. But that wasn't really the case because Splash was the only one in the dining room and so was Richard. Richard was the only one in the dining room. It was just very out of character for Richard to do something like that. The way that he did it also, he had absolutely no fear at all. He was just like, okay, I am going to attack Splash. And poor Splash was so afraid. So, not good. Here's Stella. Good morning, Stella. How are you? Here's Boo. Good morning, Boo. It is 9.40 a.m. I got a bit of a late start today. For the most part, the cats have been very quiet this morning, unusually quiet. No one's been climbing the gates. They're becoming noisy right now because I'm standing here with the camera. Um, but prior to this, nobody was doing this this morning. The other cats are eating breakfast downstairs right now, including Splash. And I'm just about to open these gates so I could clean out this room. I'm on a bit of a schedule today, so I don't have like a lot of time to entertain these cats or anything. And yeah, I just got to get everything cleaned up. The other cats have fresh water. I already scooped the litter and they've been brushed. So I'm going to let these guys out and they can stretch their legs, walk around, run around, do what they want. For breakfast today, the cats are having homemade raw food with a little bit of canned food on top and some crunchies. Okay, so I just walked around the house with the plates and then I brought the plates into the room, put them on the floor, and all the cats are in the room. There's Ringo. So we see six eating and Ringo's just about to come out from under the day sofa. I'm going to shut the door, put the gates in the door, and then we're good. So the gates are back in the door. The gates were in the door all night. All last night the gates were in the door. There were no issues. Um, and then all day yesterday the gates were in the door. So the gates were in the door again all day today. And yesterday I even went out for a while for several hours and I came back. There were no issues. So hopefully there will be no more issues with the gates in the doors. I'm just going to leave the gates in the doors pretty much all the time now. And hopefully it'll help the cats get used to each other a little bit more. It is 11.30 p.m. And I just came into the kitten room. And I'm going to give them a snack. I'm going to give them some crunchies and some freeze-dried raw. So they uh, were let out of the room, I don't know, I think around 8.30 tonight. Um, then they spent about an hour running around the house and... I mean running around the house. Um, Sammy does this thing. Here's Sammy now. So she runs around the house so fast I just see a blur. Like a blur. And at one point she knocked down one of my Japanese lucky cat statues. And it was a really really cute one. And she knocked it down and it broke so I had to throw it out. There was no repairing it. It was a small ceramic one. So that was disappointing. But um, they all had a good time. Someone was taking ornaments off of the Christmas tree. Um, and they also had playtime with one of the new wand toys. And Richard gets really crazy with those wand toys. But so does Nancy, Ziggy, and Sammy. Um, Ziggy loves wand toys. Absolutely loves the wand toys. And little Eva was having fun with Boo's um, toy, similar to the Cadet track, but it's just like round and clear. And uh, she was playing with that for a while. And Richard loves the wand toys. Nancy loves the wand toys. Nancy also likes just walking around and exploring. And Sammy likes running around the house and jumping around. And um, Ringo loves pom-poms and balls. So he really likes playing with any of the ball toys that he finds. And Goldie is just, she's really more reserved. And she's kind of like Nancy where she just kind of likes to walk around and explore everything. And just, you know, she's just 
walking around kind of thing. So I'm going to give them some crunchies and I'm going to give them some food. I have been so busy today. I really feel like I didn't film anything. Um, which is fine because Christmas is in a few days and it's a really good time to take a break and step back from filming as much. And so that is what's going on. I still need to get quite a bit of stuff done for for Christmas. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Richard was licking Nancy and he wants Nancy to lick him. Richard, you're getting big. Richard, you're getting so big. Okay, ready? You know, in this room, these cats look all sweet and innocent, but the reality is that they're pretty ruthless. They're fearless and ruthless. Right, Sammy? Especially Sammy. Oh, and another thing I did was I put the um, the large TV in the living room on. And I put um, some of the nature videos on YouTube on the TV. And it was so funny because there was like four cats at once watching the, uh, the videos. And then um, like two to three of them. And then two or three of them jumped up and were actually like pawing at the TV. It was kind of funny. Hey guys. What you doing, Richard? It's 10.38 a.m. I am getting such a late start today because I was up pretty late yesterday, all the holiday activities such as shopping, wrapping, and delivering presents and stuff has really um, been pretty time consuming. What I did today was I was able to actually clean out everything under the day so far. There's only a few toys way in the back and I was able to sweep it and then vacuum it. I was actually surprised at how clean it is under here or how clean it was considering I haven't really been able to clean anything out in weeks. You know, I was so used to cleaning it every day with Ditto because, you know, he had so much drooling and even some bleeding and everything and seven healthy cats underneath this day sofa is just way easier than one cat dealing with mouth cancer. So right now it's clean. I'm going to put the uh, blankets down. Actually, I just put two of the beds back. And the cats are really liking this bed up here. When I look at the security camera footage overnight, there's usually always at least one cat in here, if not two cats in here. So I'm going to leave this here. Actually, I just remembered that I have this larger bed. I had taken it out because they kept taking it out. So I put that here. There's one of the small ones, and then there's a small one. So now there's three beds under the day sofa, and then there's the one bed on the desk. And I also put two of these cubbyhole beds back into the shelves because they really were not using the shelves more with the cubbyhole beds removed than they do with them in there. So just to get those cubbyhole beds out of the way, they were just in the hallway, I put them back in there. So maybe they'll use them some more. I have the window open like four inches because I do like to air it out while I'm cleaning out the room. I'm still sweeping and I still have to do the litter and the water, but I got the vacuuming done. So I just put these two little Christmas blankets on this day sofa in this room. Now these two blankets have been on my bed for the past several days and they've been used a lot by Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba. So they are full of the scents of the other cats. So that's why I'm putting them here. So these cats will be able to smell my cats in this room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the towel that was here and then put it on my bed so it'll be like vice versa. So then my cats will be able to smell 
these cats. Now, obviously, these cats smell my cats whenever they leave this room because I'm sure the majority of my house smells like my cats to these cats. Every time they leave this room, they're on, you know, other territory for my cats. So I just want to more actively uh, swap scents, and I'm going to do it by switching out blankets. So We'll see how this works. The other thing I'm thinking about is making introductions on a one-on-one -on -one basis. For example, um, like the day that Sammy got out of the carrier, she was the only cat with the other cats. Maybe doing something like that where it's one of these cats, one of the other cats, or one of these cats, two of the other cats. So I'm not doing anything like that now because it's almost Christmas. We're a few days out from Christmas. I would really like to take a break and enjoy the holiday because I've been working nonstop this entire month. So. I'm just trying to think ahead for like after Christmas, maybe sometime between Christmas and New Year's. So these are all of the toys that were underneath the day sofa. I dug them out and I'm going to look for a little basket to put them in. I know I have lots of little baskets and stuff in this house. So not only did I scoop the litter today, but I also topped it off with fresh litter. And every time I do that, I don't know why, but the torties love to roll around in it. Every time I put fresh litter in these boxes, the torties love rolling around in fresh litter. And this is not like a, a kitten attract litter. This is just like a regular litter. There's no attractants in it. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Look at this. This is a pom-pom. Here's the rest of the pom-pom. Here's the rest of the pom-pom. Ew, it's all wet. Here's the rest of the pom-pom. These cats are ruthless and vicious killers. It's just about 11 a.m. The room has been completely cleaned. Fresh water, um, fresh litter, and they put their food together, and it was pretty effortless to get them in there. All I have to do is walk around the house with the food plates so they know that food is being served walk into the room, announce that food is being served, and then put the plates down. And all seven of them were in the room by that time. So all I had to do is back out and put the gates up. So that has been working out well. And because of this current situation where I'm letting the cats roam around the house and then feeding them in their room, there's no way that I could feed the other cats on the other side of this door at the same time. Because if I did not first feed the other cats, they would be howling the entire time. Like if I put them downstairs without feeding them first, I there would be no way to get them down there. The only way I could get the other cats downstairs is by feeding them. And even then, Splash doesn't go down there. He's in my room right now, he ate in my room. And the only way to get these cats back in this room like that is by feeding them. So food, is a very, very powerful motivator for cats. I just opened the door, Boo flew upstairs so fast, and this is what I do now. I let them look out the back door. I didn't put any bird seed out because it's gonna start raining any minute. Hey Simba! I just put the green towel on the bed and Boo jumped right on it and he's been sniffing it. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna lay on it or, or what, but he's been giving it a very, very good sniff. Right Boo? Right? So then this is a black cat blanket that was on the sofa in the living room. It's here because it was super cold last night. I don't know if he's going to choose to lay on that or lay on this. It'll be interesting to see because he always lays like that's his favorite part of the bed or sometimes this corner. It's one of these corners. It's okay, boo. You're okay, okay? You're a good man, boo, okay? So I'm actually kind of happy that boo is an authoritarian the way he is because look at that. <laughs> he'll, uh, he, he'll keep those kittens in line, right, boo? Boo says if they try to, if they try to get out of line, he'll take care of them. We have to remember that boo is the protector Boo's always been the protector of Stella, Splash, and Simba. It's 11.55 a.m. and Sammy was crying by the gates. So I just put a bunch of dry food underneath the gates. I tossed it under. And I put some dry food here because Simba was here. 
Well, Nancy started howling like I've never heard her howl before ever. Like I was completely shocked that it was even her. Nancy's right here. She was right here when she was howling. And it wasn't like a regular howl. It was like the howl that a cat does when it's going to start a fight or trying to get out of a fight. Like it was that kind of howl. Like I am completely shocked by it. Even the other cats in the room are flipped out by it because I don't know what that was about. What are you doing, Nancy? It's 9.15 p.m. The kittens are on free roam. And I think I'm going to have to put their dinner together and get them back in their room soon because it sounds like Boo's uh, restless on the other side of the door. But look. Look at what's going on with this cat condo. Something's moving. What is that? Who is that? That looks like a tabby tail. Ziggy's checking it out. Ziggy says, who is that? Who is that in there? There's only one way in and that's that cubby hole. <gasps> who is that? That's Nancy. Come on out, Nancy. You want dinner? Here's Sammy. I told Sammy she's in charge. You're in charge, Sammy, okay? She's up here on her perch. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is almost 11 a.m. The cats are having a very late breakfast today. It's fish day. Stella, Boo, and Simba are eating their breakfast downstairs. Uh, Splash is in my room. I don't know why he's doing that. I'm just about to open this door. They hear me and they're scratching on the other side of it right now. So, I'm just about to let them out so that they can get some exercise. And then I got to clean out their room. We're on a very tight schedule today. Right, guys? Okay. All right, let me in. Good morning, everybody. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out, guys. You could come out. Their schedule and their routine is off because I was out this morning and I just got back. I wanted to get out really early, as early as possible, because it's already a zoo out there. And the roads are a mess because there's flooding, because it's been, like, just raining for the past 24 hours. And, hey, what are we doing? We don't scratch walls. And... The temperature is supposed to drop later this afternoon and everything's supposed to freeze. So I wanted to get out before that happened and I want to get all these litter boxes scooped. I have so much to do today. I want to get everything done before tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve. And I know I'm not going to get everything done. So I'm going to get as much as I can done today. And yeah, so that includes cleaning out this room. I guess they don't want to come out of the room because I'm standing here. So I'm going to go actually eat some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything yet and then I'll come back once they're out of the room. So I've noticed that Sammy really likes using one of the scratch and rolls. So yesterday I put all the scratch and rolls out. I had them stacked in a pile just to get out of the way so the cats could have like a big running play area. So I put the scratch and rolls out and there were several cats just laying in the scratch and rolls. Of course I walk in with the camera, they move, but I was gonna show you that. So it seems to be pretty universal that cats love scratch and rolls. Hey, Sammy. See, there she is. She loves the scratch and rolls. And they love this new butterfly toy. This is a wand toy with a butterfly and like ribbons on it. They love this butterfly toy. They also love using the litter box that is in the next room. All right, I have to now, I have to go clean their room out. I sat down to play with them for a few minutes just to get some of their energy out.
Okay, the room has been reset. It actually wasn't too bad. Um, so here's what I think. I think since the cats have been let out of this room several times a day and they get to run around and let their energy out, that they've been sleeping better at night. Like they're not up all night playing with toys and stuff. They're really just spending more time relaxing at night, which is good. And right now they've been running around and getting some energy out. Another thing I wanted to point out is I put these two little Christmas blankets on the bed yesterday. Now these blankets, um, the other cats have been laying on on my bed. I also put some catnip on them. Last night I put a bunch of catnip on the floor. The cats had a really good time rolling around in it and um, just enjoying it. And I have not seen anybody go near these two blankets on the day so far. So that's really interesting because there's usually a cat laying in that body pillow and they're just like avoiding this whole area. So we'll see what happens today if they continue to avoid it. Right now there's four by the window, one here, so that's five. So that means Sammy and Ringo are the only ones not in the room so far. Today's fish day, so I'm going to give them um, some cans of, I think it's like tuna for kittens. Also, I did boil a chicken the other day. I made some fresh chicken soup. So I'm going to give them some boiled chicken also. So I gave them tuna for cats. And then there's some fresh chicken on each platter. I don't know why everyone is not eating. So Eva is sitting in the cat it toy. I don't know why she's not eating. And then Nancy and Sammy are not eating also. So I just put some crunchies under the gates for them. But all seven of them are back in the room. Boo has been banging on the door. He wants to come upstairs, so for now, um, these cats are done for now. It's 1 p.m., and I don't know if it was Nancy or what, but it sounds like someone's blowing a bugle. That's what the howling sounds like, and I, I'm i thinking it's Nancy because it was what she did yesterday or the day before, and Boo's right here, and I have... Um, this yardstick because I was opening the door at the yardstick. Sammy was climbing the gates. I gave them some dry food underneath the gates and Boo's out here just kind of watching to see what's going on but I think it's Nancy. I mean you have to hear this. It's just like it's like a bellow. What are you doing Nancy? You freaked out? You okay? Boo's just looking like what's going on? It is 4.08 p.m. Don't move, Stella. Stay there, Stella. I'm showing everyone what you do, okay? It's 4.08 p.m. I'm making a large batch of homemade raw food for the cats. And Stella sits there the entire time supervising me. But she doesn't like to be caught on camera doing that. So she just jumped down from the chair. But... I wanted to tell you what she does because she does it every time. Oh, here she is. She's going to jump in this chair now. Sometimes she likes to watch from this chair because she gets a better view of the meat coming out of the grinder. And then sometimes she watches from the other chair. Stella, did it meet your approval? You approve? Did it meet your approval, Stella? Stella says it does. She gets all excited when she sees me starting to get ready to make the homemade food. But I give her a little piece to taste and she doesn't want to eat it. It is 7.30 p.m. And I'm taking the gates off of the door so the cats could walk around the house for a while. It is 14 degrees out right now. And the winds are horrendous. They're so bad. They're ripping the plastic off of my greenhouse. So last year for the winter, I wrapped my greenhouse in plastic so that it would be more insulated. And the wind outside is so bad, it's ripping all the plastic off. Like, I think it's all gone. Um, so, I'm really happy that the cats are inside. And they're very polite. They don't want to jump the gate. But Sammy did. So, I'm very, very happy that the cats are inside right now. Because it is just really bad. I was out for a little while. Um, I put a little heater in the greenhouse to try to... Try to save the plants in the greenhouse because I don't even know if they're going to make it now because the plastic insulation has been ripped off. So I was outside for not even five minutes and I almost got frostbite because with the winds, the winds outside are so bad that in the few minutes 
that I was outside um, going from like the garage to the greenhouse and back, I it felt like I was getting frostbit because the wind chill factor is like zero. So water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now it's 14 degrees out and then with the wind chill it was down to like zero. So not a very good night for the cats to be out and the wind is just the worst I've experienced during the winter. So these cats are very lucky to be inside. It is 10.10 10 p.m. and I'm just gonna document what happened. So I could not get Sammy back in the room with the kittens after um, when I gave them dinner today. So she ended up in my bedroom and I had the door shut. I let all the other cats back up and she was just banging, banging, banging and crying, crying, crying because she wanted to leave the room. But I was not going to let her leave the room unless I picked her up and either put her in a carrier or picked her up and put her in the room with the kittens. So that went on for at least an hour, maybe two hours. And then finally I was like, all right, fine. You want to come out of the room? You come out of the room. So she came out of the room and you can see Boo's here, Stella's here, Simba's in the cat tower, and Splash is here, but he's hiding. After what happened with Richard, he's hiding. And I have to give Boo props. Boo did so good. Boo, you did so good. He didn't attack her. At one point, she came running around the corner, and he, like, hissed at her, and then she hissed at him. But he didn't lunge at her or anything. He did so good. And then she walked into the kitchen, and um, I had the door shut to downstairs, so she realized she wasn't going anywhere. And then she walked into the dining room, and she realized she wasn't going anywhere. And she didn't want to go back into the bedroom. So finally, I was able to open the door to the kitten room a little bit, and just like enough for her to try to maybe go in through it. And then I took a gate and I kind of just like uh, shoot her in the rest of the way with the gate. So she's back in the room. That's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the cats some crutches now to celebrate and to, uh, you know, praise them for not attacking her. That was very good, Bo. So I had gotten the cats another one of these cats meow toys. I got this one on Amazon. And I just put some fresh batteries in it and it's working. So let's see how long this toy will last before they break it like they broke the other ones. Maybe they'll be more gentle with this one. They have uh, two plates of crunchies. I don't know why they're not eating them. Um, so when Sammy was in my room and she was crying because she wanted to get out, Nancy was in this room crying really loudly also. Like all of these cats were so upset every time they heard Sammy. Because what I would do is I'd open the door to see like, well, who is howling in here? And I would see Nancy and Ziggy and Goldie and they'd all be like right near the door. Right, Nancy? Look at this. Now there's four here. All right, so I'm going to let them play with this. Hey, Sammy. Goldie's underneath the day sofa. And she's touching my foot. She's actually like kneading my foot. She's completely afraid of me, but right now she's kneading my foot.
see Goldie's paw. It's one of her paws. If she's stuck on my sock. <laughs> you stuck on my sock? Look at <laughs> Look at her paws. Are you stuck on my sock? Good morning, Stella. It's about 9 a.m. We slept in today. Here's Stella. Look at what's going on here by the windows. There's four cats by the windows. And there are three cats by the door. Sammy, Richard, and Goldie. Sammy's been climbing the gates. I just put the gates in. Um, the door was shut all night. They're not coming out yet. I have to get ready for my day. The other cats have to get their food. They're just really excited to um, see me and to come out of the room soon. There's some wrestling going on. Who's wrestling? Sammy and Richard. So... Last night was another quiet night for the kittens. And yeah, I've definitely noticed a difference since they've been allowed to run around the house. Then they're much quieter at night. It's 11.23 a.m. I'm opening the door. It's a bit of a mess in here. You guys could come out now. So the other cats are eating their breakfast and I wanted to make sure that these guys are good and hungry before I let them out because I want them back in. Come on out. Come on out everybody. The cats are going to try some kitty cane cat treats. This is cranberry and chicken flavor. It's going to be a little Christmas treat for them. Boo's already smelling the bag. This is what they look like. They are cute little stars and they actually smell pretty good. All the cats are here waiting for some treats. Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo. So let's see. Let's see if they like them. You want some? Want some? Want some? You guys gonna eat them? I gave them two each. Simba ate them. Splash ate them. Stella ate them. And Boo ate them. Okay. So... All four of the cats like these. So these kitty cane cat treats are a success. All four of the cats really enjoy these. Right, Boop? It is almost 9 a.m. And I just put two platters of food on the floor for the cats. We have all seven cats right now. Um, so they're getting some of the wellness turkey and salmon pate. That's what the other cats had for breakfast. Then they're getting some Nature's Promise salmon and chicken on top. And then they're getting a scoop of dry food. I don't know why Richard's not eating. So they're not getting um, free roam time this morning. Oh, maybe he has to go to the bathroom. Because I have to be out of here as soon as I can get out of here. So uh, they've just been kept in this room this morning. I already scooped out all the litter. And I swept up the floor. Um, I opened the window for a little while. It is about 15 degrees out today, so it's still very cold and brisk. And I just gave them their meal, and I'm going to finish doing what I need to do before I have to leave. And then I'm going to set them up with the dry feeder. I also refreshed their water this morning. So I'll set them up with their dry feeder, and then they're good for the day. I don't know what time I'm getting back. I don't know if I'm going to be back in the early evening, in the late evening. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to be back sometime between 7 p.m. and midnight. So I need to set them up for a full day. And yeah, they're having a good breakfast. They have fresh water, cleaned litter, and with the dry food, they should be good. So for the other cats, I set their automatic feeders with some crunchies. They're going to have a crunchy dinner. They'll, they should be happy with that. Um, they're having their breakfast right now also, and they have fresh water, and all the security cameras are set up. Oh, I have to do the one in here. It's 9.15 a.m. right now, and they ate most of what's on their plates, which is good. I just gave them a whole bunch of dry food, and that should be plenty for them for the rest of the day. Hey, Nancy. How are you, Nancy? You good? So I guess I'll leave these plates here for them to pick on. Maybe I'll move them over a little bit. I'll put the toy on 
before I leave so they have a little bit of play time. Actually, no, I'm not going to put the toy in before I leave. They could get it when I get back. Here's Sammy. I told Sammy she's in charge. You're in charge, Sammy, okay? She's up here on her perch. You okay? You're in charge, Sammy. You happy? You had, you had a nice breakfast? I'll see you later, okay? Sammy likes being in charge. Right, Sammy? Hello, Marty. How are you, Marty? Marty likes to be all wrapped up in a blanket. She loves it. Hey, dude, Marty. You comfy? Comfy cozy? And Richard's been making a lot of unhappy noises because he doesn't want to be separated from his sisters. Yeah, hear him? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's almost 5 p.m. I'm just about to let the kittens out of the room. They have not been out of this room in almost 48 hours. And I still need to clean their room for today. So after they come out, then I'm going to clean up this entire room. The other cats are all eating their dinner downstairs. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why can't I open this? Something's behind the door. All right, guys. Come on out. Sammy's stretching. Come on out. Come on out, everybody. Come on out. Oh, look at this. Look. They took this bed out again. And what I... What I remembered today was, I think this is the bed that, yeah, this is the bed that they had started taking stuffing out of, and that's why I had originally put this bed away. I put it in the closet, and when I took it out, I forgot that they had started taking stuffing out of it, so this is going back in the closet. So it seems that they're actually a little bit afraid of leaving the room. So I'm going to move away from the door. Maybe they'll leave. Hello. Hello. It is 9 a.m. And I just opened the door to romper room. This is like romper room in here. And some of the cats have left the room. Some haven't. There's Ringo and Eva. And I want to tell you what I witnessed last night. So last night I came in the room and I was hanging out on the day sofa. I was using my iPad. And Richard was on top of the cat tower. He was just hanging out there. And Ringo was playing with a wand toy. So, like, I had, I had a wand toy in one hand and my laptop in the other hand. And I was swinging the wand toy back and forth. And it was kind of dark, so I really couldn't see what was going on. But at one point, Ringo jumped up into the cat tower with Richard. And then Richard got on top of Ringo the way that Simba gets on top of Splash. Like, you know, the show of dominance kind of thing. So Richard bit the back of Ringo's neck and, like, kind of crawled on top of his back. And at that point, I was like, I got to see what's going on. So I put the light on so I could observe. And what happened was... It was exactly like Splash and Simba, exactly like it. So Richard was biting the back of Ringo's neck and Ringo seemed to be enjoying it for a little while, but then he started meowing and he was like, okay, enough already, I've had enough, get off of me. Um, and then like Richard just kept doing it. So I basically was almost trying to break it up. I was like, okay, Richard, enough, enough. And I was swinging like a wand toy at him. But I don't know, he just got into like this dominant mood. It was almost like the way he attacked Splash um, the other day. It was like he's trying to assert his dominance. So Richard was asserting his dominance over Ringo. And, you know, Ringo seemed to be okay with it. Ringo is a very, very laid back cat. Ringo is more laid back than Richard, which is hard to believe because Richard's very laid back. Um, 
so I just wanted to document what happened and then that dynamic. I don't know if I had a security camera on at the time. I might have had a security camera on that might have caught it. Another thing that happened is there was a cat laying in this blue cat bed on top of the table. I don't know if it was little Eva. I think it was her, but I could be wrong. But I think it was her, but it, again, it was kind of dark, so I wasn't sure. What happened was Ringo was up here. He was up here by the window, and he walked over here, and then he just started licking the cat on the head and, like, grooming the cat. And I was like, oh, that's so nice of him. That's why I thought maybe it was Eva. So I'm going to clean up this room, and then I'll get everyone fed. And what's weird is that I did not see Richard leave this room this morning. I saw every other cat leave the room, but I did not see Richard leave the room, so I thought maybe he's under the day sofa. I just checked. He's not under there. Where's Richard? Okay, I found Richard. He's in here. You guys walking around, getting some exercise? Okay. I just put their toy on. They like this toy out here because it gives them a little bit more room and like a whole bunch of them can play together. Um, there's little Eva. So last night, she was the last cat to go in the room. Like I gave them dinner. I gave them an early dinner and all the cats went straight in the room except for her. I had to chase her around the house a few times, and then eventually she went in. The problem is that I have to make sure that they go back in the room on a timely basis because, you know, I have a lot of other things to do right now. If she doesn't go back in, I don't want to keep all the other cats downstairs, especially if I have to go out for a while. I'm not going to let any of these kittens roam around the house unsupervised because there have been instances were, I mean, so far they've knocked down two lamps, like a smaller one, and then a large floor lamp. I don't know what got into them. I think it was Sammy, but she decided she's going to jump from the floor on top of this floor lamp. Yeah, that wasn't happening. And that whole thing came crashing down. Thankfully, I was here to somewhat catch it. And they've knocked down, like, other things that I've had to throw out because they broke in. So they still need a lot of supervision. So there's Sammy. She's hiding behind the chair in the cat condo. And Boo came upstairs and he wasn't too happy, but he didn't he did not attack her, which was good. I put him in my bedroom. Splash is in my bedroom and now Boo's in the bedroom. In order to get Boo into the bedroom, I had to open the window. So he's getting fresh air. Stella just came upstairs and now Stella, I think she's in the kitchen. I think she might be afraid of walking around the house. I could be wrong. Um and Sammy's hiding. So this is the situation. I'm just going to keep going about my day and eventually hopefully Sammy will go back in the room because I do need to get out of here soon. So here's Stella. Stella's actually here. Maybe I'll put the toy on? I'll put the toy Stella. Maybe Sammy will come out to play. I don't know if Stella knows Sammy's hiding. Now she's climbing up by the curtains. Stella hears something. She's like, what's over there? So I need to leave this room and get some things done right now. I don't know if I trust these two cats together. Okay, she just walked back in her room. And there's still food. So we're good. Mission accomplished. I feel like sometimes Sammy just wants some extra time running around the house. I don't know if she just wants extra time by herself or extra time with me. But then eventually she's been going back in the room. But she did good today. Um, and Stella did good and Boo did good. It was, you know, a little bit of interaction. Maybe we'll try like a little bit each time. It is 9 a.m. I just walked past the kitten room and look at this. Look at this. Somebody knocked over the cat tower. And I think Ziggy was on top of it. There's Sammy. They're all coming by the door because they want me to open the door. So before I can open the gates, I have to give the other cats fresh water scoop their litter and give them breakfast then the gates can be opened okay guys so it'll just be a few minutes 
It's 9.22 a.m. I have two cats under the bed, Splash and Boo. I think Boo's on the other side. There are trucks outside making a lot of noise trimming the trees, uh, the town trees near the power lines, so the cats are freaked out. There's Boo. He wants to stay under the bed, but he wants to come out and eat, so he's half in, half out. Hopefully he's not going to throw up. It's fish day, so they're having canned fish. Good morning, everybody. What's going on in here? Let me put this back up. Let me put this back up. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Nancy. I think out of everyone, Nancy loves pets the most. Right, Nancy? You're a good girl, Nancy. Go run around the house. You scared, too? Everybody scared? Don't be scared. It's 10.05 a.m. The kittens are having a good time running around the house, and I just went to pick up this wand toy to play with them, and look, look what's going on here. So there's Nancy, and here's, you probably can't see it, but here's the, uh, the fishing line. So somebody broke it, and here's the toy that was attached to it. It's still attached to part of it, but it's now broken in the middle. Now, I can't blame it on any of these kittens because this, this wand toy was out all night, and so was Simba. So I don't know if Simba broke this or one of the kittens broke it. I don't know if it was Ringo because I saw Ringo near it, but... Yeah, not happy. It's 6.30 p.m. I just opened the door. Sammy's been hanging out on top of the day sofa today, which is kind of new for her because she's usually on the cat tower, but look at what's going on. Look, look at that. Look, I think it's Ringo and little Eva. They're all cozy in the corner up there on the shelf. They're so comfortable, they don't even want to come out of the room. The door's open. They could walk all around the house. They just want to hang out together. Aren't they pretty cats? They look tired. You guys tired? They just want to get some sleep. So I should mention that I looked at the security camera footage from overnight earlier today. The cats were like up all night. Everyone was just playing and having a good time in the room. It is 9.45 a.m. I just opened the door to the kitten room, the nursery room, the foster room, romper room, whatever we want to call it. It is a mess in here. Look at this. They took everything off the shelf. The litter scoop, I don't know, they took it out from where it was. There's like a clump of litter up there. Yeah. Just really messy. It's 10.20 a.m. I'm cleaning out the room for the kittens and there's a cat outside. This is a cat that I've seen around recently. So the other day I was coming home, I pulled into my driveway and a cat shot out from on top of one of the garbage cans. I guess it was sitting on top of a garbage can. I don't know if it was trying to eat food out of it or what, but I think it's this cat because I remember seeing just a dark tabby and then I checked the security cameras on the side of the house to see if that's where it went. And sure enough, that's where it went. So I think this is the cat. So there were three cats in the window. Look at their tails. As soon as I saw the cat in the yard, I shut the window. It's only open a few inches. Look at their tails. Look how bushy their tails are. I don't know if they know this cat. It looks like they don't know this cat. I have not seen this cat prior to, I don't know, the past week or so. So I don't know where it went. Hey Sammy, you know who that is? Who is that cat? Today I reset the shelves, wiped everything down, swept the floor, I even vacuumed everything today. I vacuumed as much as I could. I vacuumed the rug, I vacuumed underneath the day sofa, straightened up the day sofa a little bit. Um, so today's the last day of December. I'm wondering if I could swap out these Christmassy blankets, maybe for something more January. I don't know, I'll have to see what I have. And I scooped all the litter, I vacuumed um, this grassy mat. So we're supposed to get warm weather. I don't know if today, it is supposed to start raining later today. So depending on how warm the afternoon gets, I might actually take some litter boxes outside and scrub them down. I like to do that at least once a month, just to empty them, scrub them all down and put fresh litter in. 
Um, so whether I do that today or uh, tomorrow or the next day, I have to look at the weather and see if there's going to be a sunny warm day or just a warm day. Today is really gray, super foggy, um, and it's really not even that warm right now, but we'll see. Here's Richard. Richard loves getting pets. And he loves nibbling on my hands. He gives me a lot of love bites, right, Richard? Can you hear him purring? He even let me rub his belly the other day. There's Nancy, head butts for Richard. Nancy loves pets too. This is what he does. If I stop petting him, then he'll start nibbling on my hand and rubbing up against it. Now, somebody is underneath the day sofa, and they're touching my feet. Who's underneath there? Oh, they moved. Sometimes he just like sometimes he just likes to rub his teeth on my fingers. It is 10.45 a.m. I'm just about to give the cats some breakfast. They're having homemade raw food with some water mixed in and then some crunchies in the middle and on top. And I tried a new technique to get all the cats in the room today and it worked really, really well. And that was just to sit on the day sofa and play with this wand toy that's on the floor. So after playing with the wand toy for, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, all the cats were in the room. They were having a really good time playing with the wand toy, so then I was like, okay, I think there's seven cats in the room, I'm going to shut the door. And then I counted, and I counted seven. So then I said, okay, I'm going to go and give them their breakfast. And so I put it together for them, and that's what they're going to get now. And then we're good. Right, guys? I'm thinking of going out and buying everyone a rotisserie chicken today, because it's New Year's Eve. And... I think they would like that. They can have their New Year's Eve party with some rotisserie chicken. Right, guys? One thing I should mention when I buy rotisserie chicken for these cats, I do make sure that it is an all-natural chicken and it's not pumped full of, like, different marinades and seasonings and stuff like that. I That's why I go to Stu Leonard's, which is local. They'll, they sell naked chicken. That's what they call it. And... As far as I can tell, it has very, very few things added to it. Whereas if I went to the local supermarkets and bought their rotisserie chickens, it's full of a long list of additives. Alright guys, ready? You hungry? So everyone's eating their food. Four on one plate, three on the other. Sometimes I separate it out into uh, portions, but today I just felt like putting it on the platter. So where it stands right now is Sammy, Nancy, and Richard love getting pets. I could 
pick Sammy up, no problem. I can pick Nancy and Richard up, kind of like barely because they squirm a lot. So I'm still working with them as far as petting them with two hands, putting my hands underneath their belly, that kind of stuff. And as far as the others go, um, Goldie, Ziggy, Ringo, and Eva, they still need a lot of work. Ziggy loves playing with wand toys. Like she's the first one to play with a wand toy when I start playing with a wand toy. And she will actually like step on me if I'm sitting on the day sofa or laying on the day sofa and if I hold the wand toy like above me, she'll actually put her paws on me. She has no problem touching me. It's just she's not comfortable like when I touch her. So that still scares her. Goldie is still very much scared of contact. And the same goes for Ringo and Little Eva. So I still have a lot of work to do with them. And now that the holidays are coming to an end, I should have more time to do that. It's 4.30 p.m. And I let Sammy and Nancy out of the room, I don't know, five or ten minutes ago. Because, you know, they were at the gate. They were climbing the gates. So I was like, okay, you guys want to come out? So I shut Boo into my room. And I shut the door to downstairs where I believe Stella, Splash, and Simba are downstairs. So Splash is either in my room with Boo or he's downstairs with Stella and Simba. Um, so then I put the gates back on the door because I was like, okay, two cats out, that's fine. Maybe I could get some other things done. Like seven cats, I can't really get much done because they're all over the place. I'm trying to clean and organize and get stuff done that I wish I had gotten done previously. So what happened was now they're crying at the gate. The cats that are still, I think it's Richard. He's been howling at the gate because he wants to be with his sisters. And there's quite a few of them. I don't know if that's Ziggy. Um, Ringo's laying there. That's Ringo. And I think that's Ziggy. Is that Ziggy? No, that's Goldie. Goldie's right here. And Richard. And Richard's been making a lot of unhappy noises. Because he doesn't want to be separated from his sisters. Yeah, hear him. You okay, Richard? No, you're not okay? Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Richard wants to be with Nancy. Richard loves Nancy. You want to go back in, Nancy? Here comes Sammy. There's Richard. So, I also did this as a test to see, you know, how are they when they're separated? How are they when they're, like, not together as a group? There's Goldie. So it looks like they're not too happy when they're separated. It's 4.45 p.m. Sammy was by the gate, so I took the bottom gate off, and I was like, Sammy, you want to go back in? And after I took the bottom gate off, like, Richard and either Ziggy or Goldie came out so fast. Then Sammy went back in, and now here's Nancy. Nancy was thinking about going back in. But she didn't go back in. She was thinking about it. She almost went back in, but then she's still out here. So right now I have three. So here's Richard. Richard flew out so fast. And do you want to go back in, Richard? If I take the gate off, Sammy's going to come back out. I really don't want all seven cats. Oh, it's, it's Goldie. How you doing, Goldie? You want to go back in? You want to go back in, Goldie? It's 4.48 p.m. and I let Sammy out and then Richard and Nancy went back in. So right now I have Sammy out and Goldie, the two of them, and Nancy and Richard went back in with everyone else. It is 5 p.m. I got everyone back in the room with some treats. I had an open bag of temptation, so I just started um, giving everyone some treats in the room. Pretty much, pretty soon everyone was in the room, so I just snuck out the door and... So they're good. I just let Boo out of my room because he was scratching at the door. I'm going to let uh, the other cats up and then um, these guys will eat a little bit later. 
it is now 5 45 p.m i have opened the door completely so everyone can come out stretch their legs run around the house and look at that so ringo is on the day sofa little eva is hanging out in the corner back there hope she feels okay sammy is in the cat tower everyone else is out of the room little eva are you okay are you okay little eva you're just tired yeah, she's tired. Okay. You could stay there. I'm not going to bother you. You could stay there if you want to. Okay. You just hang out, okay? I just put their food on the ground, so they're having some canned food, and they're having some fresh shrimp on top. I cooked up some shrimp, so there they go. It's 6.50 p.m. All the other cats are back in the room eating dinner, except for Sammy. She's sitting here in the corner. I've been trying to wrangle her back into the room, but... She doesn't want to go back, so I tried to give her a shrimp, and I guess she doesn't like it. It's just there on the floor near her, so I'm going to let her chill out for a while, and then um, hopefully I'll be able to just pick her up and put her back in the room because the other cats would like to come back upstairs. It's been quite a while. So all the kittens had such a good time. They're running up and down the hallway chasing a wand toy and just zooming around the house like crazy zoomies. So I think what happened was they got a little too uh, rambunctious. And at one point, uh, Sammy was on the window ledge in the kitchen. And the cats are not supposed to be up there. So then I was like, you have to get down and everyone has to go back in their room. So right now she's in, she's in a little bit of a timeout. It's 7.15 p.m. Sammy refuses to come out from underneath the Christmas tree. And Nancy's been howling. Right now she's quiet. I have not let any of the other cats up yet because Sammy's still under the Christmas tree and I can't get her out. Can you see her under there? She's in the far corner. Sammy, come on out. Sammy, come on out. It's 7.15 p.m. I had to pull the tree out to get her to kind of move out from under the tree. And then finally she came over here to the hallway and I was able to open the door and she just jumped the fence to go into the room. There's no food left in the room because everyone else ate the food so I might just put another can of food in the room or I might just let her go hungry because then maybe she learned her lesson to go back in the room when they're supposed to eat. I just opened the door to let the cats up and Simba is the only one near the door. So I was like, what's going on? Here's Boo now. But I was going to show you where Boo was. So I have three cat beds on the sofa down here and the uh, empty one to the right of Stella. Um, that's where Simba usually likes to lay and Stella likes to lay in that one. And this is the little Ikea bed. That's where Boo was. Boo's hanging out in Stella's Ikea bed. I've never seen him go in there before ever or on there. I've never seen him like on that bed, in that bed, however you want to say it. It was so cute because I've been wondering like where Boo's been hanging out. And that's where he's been hanging out. He was such a good boy. You're a very good boy, Boo. I figured they were freaked out when the kittens were like zooming around the house. Oh, now someone's banging on a door. It's probably Nancy and Sammy. So I'm giving Sammy a squeeze up as a reward for coming back into the room. I have to scoop the litter in here. It smells pretty bad. So I've noticed that if I scoop the litter before they eat their dinner, there's nothing to scoop. But if I scoop it after they eat their dinner, there's a lot to scoop. Okay, good job. You want me to scoop? You want to push more up from the bottom? And squeeze some more up. Here, here you go. There's more coming up. Okay, good job. Good job. So I just split up a can of Friskies, a 5.5 ounce can. Sammy's eating some near the TV. And a few other people are having some more. Oh no, Sammy, don't. Did she drop a piece? I could give them a snack later. This is just to kind of quiet them down right now.
Look at Ziggy. She's sitting under the Christmas tree. Isn't she pretty? Ziggy, you're so pretty. You're so pretty under the Christmas tree. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 11 a.m. and I just fed the cats their breakfast. And here come Ringo and little Eva out from under the day sofa. Um, so I put some new blankets on the day sofa. It's now January, so I changed up the color scheme to blue, which is kind of like wintry versus Christmas. Um, they're having homemade raw food for breakfast with some warm water mixed in and some crunchies. Um, the entire room was reset, so um, there's fresh water. The litter was scooped. The floor was swept. I did not vacuum today. If it's a beautiful warm day today, I might take the litter boxes outside and scrub them down. It's just going to depend on what other stuff I get done today. I would like to relax a little bit today, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, the cats are eating. The room is nice and fresh. It was very easy to get them in the room this morning. Um, I took out a wand toy and I was playing with them and I really think I ran off a lot of Sammy's energy, the same for Richard. Ziggy was the last one back in the room, but she came back in the room no problem also. So it was really, really easy today. No issues. So when I first let them out, I kind of just let them out and I was like, okay, you guys do whatever you want to do. And I was taking care of some other stuff. So I was basically ignoring them for a little while. Then I came in here, cleaned out the room, was listening to some videos. So I spent my time doing that, pretty much ignoring them again, letting them do what they want. And then um, I took out the wand toy and that's when I was like, okay, let's burn off some energy. And it seemed to work well. So they're eating. Of course, they're eating later today. It's basically a brunch. It's almost lunchtime for them. So maybe that helped um, them have a really good appetite. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm happy. They're all back in the room. I'm going to put the gates in the door, let them relax and let the other cats up. So that's what the cats do when they're down here. Boo lays in Stella's little Ikea bed. That's so cute. And here's Simba and Stella. They love their little beds. It is 1.15 p.m. It is a beautiful sunny day. Uh, the temperature is in the 50s. So I'm going to see how many litter boxes I could get cleaned and scrubbed today. I'm hoping to do all seven. I have four in this room, two downstairs, and then one in another room up here. So that's seven. One, I think I'm just going to replace because the litter box is literally falling apart. So I think I only need to scrub six. And I only have about two hours to do that because once the sun starts moving and going down, it starts getting colder out. So let's see how much we can get done today. I'm going to start with this one that is in this enclosure. So this one, I don't know if you could see it, but see it's falling. It's literally cracking and falling apart. Uh, this is a small litter box. I have to use a special size for this enclosure. So it was already scooped today. And I recently found this in a supermarket um, that I went to out on Long Island. And I was like, I think that's the same exact size. So it appears to be the same exact size. I'm going to make sure it fits inside. And then if it does, I'm just going to dispose of this entire thing, clean out the inside, and then fill this up with fresh litter. And then this one is good to go. Yeah, it's the same size. I can put it inside. I could shut the door. So that is good. Look at this mess. Look what they do. They kick so much litter out of this litter box. It is 1.23 p.m. and the first one is pretty much done. Okay, now I have these two to do. This litter box has just been scrubbed out and what I like to do is I like to let it dry in the sun because the UV rays from the sun will help to disinfect the litter box. So that's what I'll usually do. I'll usually put one in the sun and let it dry and be disinfected while I'm starting to clean up the area where this was from or start working on another one. In the time it took for me to vacuum up downstairs and to clean up the mess that was underneath this litter box and to pull the other litter box out, this is almost completely dried. So that litter's done, everything's been cleaned out, and I just realized that I don't have enough bags of cat litter to do all of the litter boxes. I only have two more bags left. And this litter box took an entire bag. This is a 10 pound bag. 
so I'll use another bag for this litter box and then I can do one litter box in the kitten room and then I'm short about three bags of litter so I'm gonna go and see if I could go to Petco I don't even know if they're open today uh, it's Sunday and it's also a holiday so hopefully they'll be open it's 2 41 p.m. this is the fourth litter box and the Sun has already gone down to such an extent that it's not really gonna shine on this litter box to dry it as well as the previous ones so I'm just gonna leave it here to air dry as I continue to work on the next litter box three more to go it's 3 24 p.m. I don't know if you could see it but the tabby cat is back it was actually on the steps it was smelling the area where I have been um, emptying out litter boxes and now it's over there near the hose I don't know if the camera's focusing uh, through the screen or on the screen um, but Nancy alerted me to it because she's like on the lookout so I saw this cat earlier today by my garbage cans and when I took a bag of litter out to the garbage cans it uh, ran and I know the camera's not focusing right now um, it's going to the back under the fence it's 327 and the cat is back like it's right near the back door I don't know if it moved or what, but I have to go out and get the last litter box. It is 3.30 p.m. and I got all of the litter boxes done. They've all been scrubbed out. They all have fresh litter. I even removed them and um, cleaned underneath them, vacuumed up all of the stray litter, wiped down the walls and the floor and the shelves. and. It took me about two hours. Um, it's a little bit longer than two hours because I had to run to Petco and buy 100 pounds of cat litter. Um, and I still have a 40 pound bag that I have not opened. So um, I definitely need to buy more cat litter sometime soon because I probably go through around 40 pounds of cat litter a week. But at least all of the litter boxes have been scrubbed. So that's good. The last time they were all scrubbed was right before Thanksgiving, so maybe like six weeks ago. And that's usually the longest amount of time that I like to let them go between scrubbings. So let's hope that sometime in February, we have another beautiful day so I could take the litter boxes outside and scrub them again. I, it's just so much easier for me to scrub them outside than to scrub them inside. I don't like scrubbing them in my bathtub because I don't like uh, the litter going down the drain and potentially clogging it and the same for my utility tub in my laundry room um, first of all the litter boxes barely fit in it um, and then I just I don't like the litter going down the drain I don't like uh, the potential to cause plumbing issues because I have had plumbing issues in the past I'd much rather scrub them outside and just keep everything contained that way it is 5.30 p.m. I just opened the door, took the gates off, and nobody's leaving the room. Here's Nancy. Nancy, you gonna leave the room? So Stella, Simba, and Boo are downstairs. They're eating dinner. Splash is eating in my room. I don't know why. Splash was downstairs with the other cats, and as I'm getting their dinner together, putting it on plates for them, I guess he ran up the stairs and under my bed because that's where he's been. I put his food in my room and he comes out to eat it. So uh, that's where it is. I don't know if they're afraid because I uh, cleaned out the litter boxes for them today. I don't know what they're doing. They're not coming out. You coming out or not? So Nancy just left. There's Ziggy. There's Sammy and little Eva. Hello guys. Back here we have Goldie. And somebody else. I don't know if that's Richard. Uh, yeah, that's Richard because this is Ringo. So here's Ringo. And there's Richard in the back with Goldie. <laughs> hey, Goldie. Look at Ziggy. She's sitting under the Christmas tree. Isn't she pretty? Ziggy, you're so pretty. You're so pretty under the Christmas tree. I'm going to take the tree down soon. The cats will have more space, but they do like laying under it. Ziggy says, no, I don't want you to take the tree down. Maybe I'll just take the ornaments off of it and keep the tree for a little while longer. Right, Ziggy? They say that's fine. She says that's okay. 
There goes Sammy. Here's Richard. We've been playing with a wand toy. Sometimes I look at Richard and I think he looks so much bigger like he's had a growth spurt or something. There's Nancy. She's been playing also. And there's Goldie. Hey, Goldie. Look at these two. They've discovered that there are balls in the hunting box. And there's Ringo. Oh, there's Ziggy. She came out from under the tree. And there's little Eva. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six cats. I don't know where Sammy is. She's walking around. Oh, Sammy's playing with the cat at track in the room. Look at Richard. These cats love to sploot like that. You're splooting, Richard? That's called splooting when they lay like that with their legs straight out in the back. Here we go.
and I'm trying to put the fresh sheets back on the bed. And this is what he's doing. Simba! Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It is 10.45 a.m. Getting a bit of a late start today. The cats have been wandering around the house for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes while I've been getting some other stuff done. And I'm just about to come in here and start cleaning up the room. I want to show you what they did. So yesterday, I put all fresh litter in the litter boxes. They were all scrubbed out. And look, do you see how much litter is on the floor? Look at all this litter on the floor. All that litter is on the floor because for some reason, these cats, or some of these cats, like to roll around in fresh litter. And that seems to be what happened here. Now Simba did the same exact thing yesterday when I was giving the cats dinner downstairs. I heard a strange noise and I look and Simba was literally rolling around in the fresh litter in the litter box. I guess the cats really like it. So I'm actually going to scoop this up because it's all clean litter and put it back in the litter boxes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start cleaning up the room. It's 11 a.m. and there's Ziggy. She's been rolling around in the cat litter. <laughs> See her? So I've been trying to brush as many cats as I can every day to get them used to this brush. This is a little miniature, um, one of the brushes that I use for the other cats because these cats are much smaller than the other cats. Richard, Richard seems to like it. I could also brush Nancy and Sammy. Look at this, we have three cats by the window. And there goes Nancy. We're up to four cats. Oh, is Goldie gonna join them? There's Goldie. Five cats by the window. I just need to get two more cats in the room. I could shut the door and they could all have their breakfast. Sammy's on a scratch and roll in the living room. I was, I was brushing her there. It's 11.10 a.m. and I think I just got everyone in the room. It's 12.47 p.m. I just got back from running some errands, buying some cat food. Look what's going on here. <laughs> it's Sammy and little Eva. They're sharing a bed on the table. There's Goldie, she's on top of the cat tower. It's 7.25 p.m. and I just let the kittens out of their room. Everyone else is eating downstairs except for Splash, he's eating in my room. And I took down the Christmas tree today and cleaned everything up and I made like a little cat area here. So I moved this cat condo, this large brown cat condo from the window, I moved it here. And then these are um, ottomans. This is actually a storage ottoman and this piece actually goes in there. But this is full of cat toys and cat things. Um, and then I moved the arch there because on this side there's like a, a cubby hole here and another cubby hole there. And I do notice that the kittens like to go in these cubby holes. So they can go through the arch to get in the cubby hole and Boo can use his arch here. And we'll see if anyone likes to lay on top of these. Simba, Splash, and Stella like to lay on top of these green ottomans. I've had them by my coffee table. So I moved him here. We'll see how it goes here if the cats like them here. Here's Richard. He's been getting some pets. How you doing, Richard? It's 7.53 p.m. Look at what I just found here in the hallway. A dead pom-pom. I believe Ringo's been doing this because I saw him do it the other day. I just cleaned up a dead pom-pom the other day, and here's another one today.
It's 10.20 a.m. and the kittens are eating their food. I put seven servings on the platters. So I don't know why some of them are sharing. So they just had some free time where they can run around the house and play. And I cleaned out the room, swept up, scooped the litter. Uh, the other cats have had their breakfast. I have to get out of here today because I sat down on my computer to try to do a video today and my charger, my computer charger is not working. Um, the adapter that plugs it in is not working. So I have to hopefully go buy another one today. If I don't buy another one, if I can't find it in the stores, I'm going to have to order one online. It's 1 p.m. I just got the sheets out of the laundry. And Simba has been laying on the mattress pad. And I'm trying to put the fresh sheets back on the bed. And this is what he's doing. Simba! Simba, this is a sheet. Okay? I'm going to cover you with it. If you don't move, you're going to be covered in the sheet. Okay? You want me to cover you? These cats hate being covered. Just the fact that Simba's still laying here while I have the sheet practically covering him, they never let me do this to them. He must be really, really comfortable if he doesn't want to move. Simba! Simba, I want to make the bed. Come on. You going to get up? Simba, you gonna get up? Come on. Time to wake up. I gotta make the bed. Come on. Time to wake up. I gotta make the bed. You gonna get up? Okay, get up, Simba. Simba, time to get up. Time to get up, fluffy belly. Come on. All right, you want me to just make it up around you? Make the bed up around you? Come on, Simba. Simba, get off the bed. Get off the bed.
It's 7.55 p.m. and I'm looking at two empty platters and let me tell you what these cats just ate for dinner. So first they had a can and a half of the Wellness turkey pate and those are 12.5 ounce cans. So they had about 18 ounces of the Wellness pate. And then they had a tablespoon of crunchies each and a little bit more because then I always put like a tablespoon or two of the crunchies on the platter for whoever wants it. Then they were crying for more food. So then I put two more cans of food, two 5.5 ounce cans of food on the platters and they ate all that food. So I'm assuming they're still hungry. Maybe I'll give them some more crunchies. But I've never seen them eat that much food like for one meal ever. Good. Yeah. 
Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs.
It is 12.30 p.m. And Nancy and Goldie, there's Goldie, uh, just came out of the room. They had some playtime with the, I think it's called the fling -a string toy. And they wanted to come out, so I let them out. Boo's in my room with the door shut. Everyone else is downstairs with the door shut. And I figure, you know, let them just wander around. Because first Nancy came out, but then someone was meowing for her. And I guess it was Goldie. Because Goldie's still kind of meowing. I don't know what's going on. She's meowing at Nancy. Um, so I figured while I'm trying to get some work done on my computer, I'll let them just kind of roam around the house. And um, what is Nancy doing? <laughs> She's afraid of that gift bag. That's a gift bag for cat stuff. It's all cat treats in there. So, um, yeah, hopefully the two of them will not get into any trouble. And we'll see what happens. So I should mention that earlier this morning, I had all seven of the kittens here on the play rug, and I had a squeeze-up. And I was teaching them how to eat squeeze-ups, like, out of my hand. And they all like to squeeze-up out of my hand, except for Eva and Ringo. And then I gave them each a treat, one of the bench and field treats. And I gave them each like a temptation or two to try to get them to eat it out of my hand. And they all ate it out of my hand except for Eva. Even Ringo ate it out of my hand, um, which was good. So I think that's going to be a tactic that I used with them to try to train them with squeeze ups and uh, individual treats. Now, someone is trying to look at that. See the paw under the door? Who's that, Ziggy? Is that Ziggy's paw? Not gonna open the door and injure her paw, but it looks like somebody is saying, let me out of the room also. I wanna be with Nancy and Goldie. Who is this? Is this Ziggy? Who's that, Ziggy? That's Ziggy. Okay, Ziggy. Someone's banging on the door. Who's banging on the door? Who's banging on the door, Ziggy? Ziggy, you banging on the door? Okay. We shut the door again, okay? So another reason why I'm doing this, other than letting Nancy and Goldie roam around the house, is to see how you know, these cats do separate it from each other because so far they uh, they don't like it when they're separated from each other. And this is what the gates do to the trim. When I use the gates in the door a lot, they, they take the paint off the trim. It is 12.52 p.m. and they wanted to go back in. Yep, so I opened the door for them. They walked in and I guess they're happier together than they are with their freedom to roam around the house by themselves. Okay guys, so the window's open, I don't know, like an inch and a half, two inches. If it gets too cold, I'm gonna shut it, but they do like to get fresh air. Fire! So Boo, Boo just got off his cat tower. Be nice, Boo, be nice, Boo. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. Lucky Ferals. Okay, it's 8.30 a.m. and I was just grabbing the camera so I could show you what Sammy was doing. So she's been climbing the gates this morning and normally she'll only climb the gates to around here because this top gate is more difficult to climb. Well, I just happened to walk past the room and Sammy was on top of the door, not even on a gate. She was on top of the door. And at that point I was like, okay, I'm gonna go grab the camera because I've never seen this before. And I wanna see how she's gonna get herself down because I honestly didn't think she was gonna get herself down. And so what she ended up doing, which I just caught the tail end of, I think, is that she went from the top of the door back to like part of the gate, but then she ended up just jumping anyway. Guys, 
Guys, you just gotta wait a few minutes, okay? I'm in the process of putting new water in all of the water bowls, okay? Then I'm gonna scoop litter, okay? And then I'm gonna feed everybody, okay? It's fish day today, so you guys could just chill out. Now, I should also say that I had such good sleep last night. I went to bed early, and I just slept so good. And one of the things that I did last night was I took the little bumper thing off the bottom of the door. You know how doors have a thing that sticks out of the door that keeps it from like smashing into a wall? I don't even know what you call those things. But I unscrewed it from the bottom of the door because they used to try to bite it and I don't know, I guess they either played with it or were trying to get it off the door or whatever. And it, and it used to make the door bang. So I took it off and maybe that's why I got better sleep because it was a lot less noise. So, yeah, anyway, they're just going to have to wait. They're a little restless this morning, but that's fine. I was playing with the other cats for a little while, and now I'm working on some things. Oh, you want your toy? You want the toy? They love this fling -a string toy, so maybe I'll give them this toy to play with. So when I slide the gates up, it gives me just enough room to slide this underneath the gates. And this will, this will keep them entertained for enough time. It is 10.15 a.m. And I gave the cats their food. They're having some of the Earthborn Holistic Monterey Medley because that's what I've had. I just opened a case of it. And this is some of the food that I won't be buying again because it has vegetable oil in it, um, inflammatory seed oils. So after this food's done, um, then I'll be moving on to some other kind of canned fish for the cats. This is Goldie over here. I think this is Goldie playing. Yeah, this is Goldie over here playing with a piece of straw from the broom. Maybe she doesn't like fish. I don't know. But there's four cans of the food on these platters. And each um, serving also has like a teaspoon of the kitten crunchies on it. So, I don't know. Maybe she's not into fish or maybe she just doesn't like this or maybe she's waiting for everyone else to eat we'll see what happens Goldie go eat your food go eat go eat the food okay go eat before everyone else eats it okay so right now none of these cats are starving um, if somebody doesn't like a meal I really don't have an issue with them skipping a meal if they only want to eat part of their meal, I don't have an issue with that at all. They're getting fed two really good meals a day, and then um, they're getting a little snack on top of that. So this morning, they did have a few treats, some of the bench and field treats. And those are fish flavored. They all liked them. Goldie liked those. So she should eat. Hopefully she'll eat. Eat your food, Goldie. Eat something. The reason why they're eating on the metal trays today instead of the paper platters is because I didn't have any left in the kitchen. I have my stockpile downstairs and I forgot to bring more up. So I was like, I'll just give them the metal trays because if I try to open the door to downstairs, the other cats are going to rush upstairs. So I should also mention I had absolutely no problem getting the cats into this room to eat their breakfast today. There goes Goldie. I spent quite a bit of time working on a Catterday compilation while the cats were just free roaming around the house. And then I remembered, oh no, I have to scoop their litter and clean out the room. So then I did that. So I let them out of the room a little bit before 9 a.m. And right now it's like 10, 20. So it's probably like an hour and a half that they've had just roaming around the house, doing what they want, playing with whatever toys they want, looking out whatever windows they want, that kind of stuff. And when I put the food together for them, they just all automatically went into this room on their own. I didn't even have to like do anything. It was just like, okay, I walk around the house once with the platter so they know um, it's meal time. And then I walk into the room, I stand there for a few minutes so they know it's meal time, and then I put the food down. And they're all in the room. All I had to do was shut the door. Um, so that's been working out really good. They're really trained with that. 
It is 9 10 a.m. Good morning, boo. How are you? I'm going to switch things up a little bit today or at least see if I can. I feel like I've been on kind of a set routine with blinders on just so I could get everything done in a day that I need to do. But I really need to spend more time working on integrating both families of cats or at least seeing if it can be done. So that's what I'm hoping to do today. Let's see what's going on in the kitten room. Meanwhile, Boo and Simba just got into a little bit of a disagreement. What's going on here, Boo? Are you okay, Simba? Simba, are you okay? You okay, Simba? Boo's just trying to make sure you know that he's the boss around here, that he's your daddy, okay, Simba? Boo wants you to know that he's your daddy and that, you know, he thinks he's the king. There he is now. See? It's okay, Simba. It's okay. Boo, are you apologizing to Simba? It's okay, Simba. It's okay. So the other day, I did not have a camera in my hand, but Simba headbutted Boo like three times. And it wasn't like a full headbutt, like the kittens headbutt each other, but he was like making the motion to try to headbutt Boo. Boo likes to make sure that the other cats keep their distance from him. Like, he's just very standoffish like that. Um, so I thought that was very nice of Simba to try to headbutt Boo. You're a nice boy, Simba, okay? You're a nice man. Simba, you're a good man. You're a nice man. Okay? Boo, you're a good man, and you're a nice man also, okay? So just be nice to everybody, okay? Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Look at this. I got two up here. Move over. We're not coming out yet. So along with changing, so along with changing up the routine today, I am not letting the cats out this morning. I'm going to do their litter right now. The room's actually not that messy. This is like the neatest they've kept their room in such a long time. Um, so I'm going to do the litter. Then I'm going to do the other litter in the house. Um, and then I am going to give everyone breakfast separately. So the kittens will have breakfast in here. The other cats will have their breakfast. And I want to get out and get a few things done this morning. And I need to do them early. I can't wait until later. So that is why I'm doing this also. And then I'm hoping I'll be back relatively soon, hopefully before noon. Right now it's like 9, 10. If I could get out of the house by 10 o'clock, I'm hoping I could be back by noon, and then this afternoon maybe we could try some experiments and some training with the cats. One of the things I'm hoping to do is to get them a rotisserie chicken. They haven't had one in a while. Maybe that would be uh, a good training tool for them. And yeah, so that's my plan for today. They were actually pretty good overnight. Um, they weren't too noisy. I slept well. I had another really good night's sleep. That makes a big difference. So I'm going to get their litter done. I should also mention that yesterday I put fresh batteries in this cat's meow toy and maybe that helped because uh, they were playing with that toy for a while. It stays on for about a half hour and it really holds their attention. For breakfast today the cats are having homemade raw food and then there's some kitten crunchies in the middle and a few sprinkled around the sides. Is everybody ready for breakfast? No, I only see six. There's only six cats out. Ringo! Ringo! Come on out, Ringo. There you are. Good boy, Ringo. All right. Everybody ready for breakfast now? Okay. Let's get excited. Nancy's so excited for breakfast. Okay. Ready, guys? Here we go. Okay. All seven cats are eating their breakfast. Four on one plate, three on the other plate. That's perfect. It's 3.45 p.m. Here's Stella and Splash laying on the bed. I'm not sure where Simba is. Here's Boo. He's in his office. So what I was going to do is open up the door to the kitten's room and see if anyone wants to come out. I'm not letting all of them out. I might let one or two of them out. Um, I did shut the door to downstairs. So if Simba's downstairs, he's downstairs. And I shut the door to my bedroom because I don't need anyone going under the bed and then I can't get them out. So Splash and Stella are in the bedroom. 
booze here. I might go see if they want to come out of the bedroom. Um, and then I'm going to let one or two of the kittens out and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so here's Sammy. Sammy came out. She's by herself. They were all by the door when I opened the door, but let's just do one-to-one -one right now. So here's Sammy. And Boo's still on his... He's still in his cat tower. So Boo... Boo just got off his cat tower. Be nice, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Okay, be nice. Good job, Boo. Good job, Boo. What a good man you are, Boo. You're a good man, Boo, okay? I had to be careful with Boo because he could just snap at any at any moment. That was very nice of you, Boo. So as soon as Boo saw Sammy here on the rug, he came off his cat tower to greet her like we just saw he did. So she's back by the door to the kitten room. And I'm just going to see what happens. Right now it is 3.50 p.m. And I just want everyone to behave. Boo seems okay. He doesn't seem... Be nice, Boo. Be nice. He, he doesn't feel tense. And that's good. He feels relaxed. Now, we do have to remember that Boo is very concerned about kittens. Whenever he hears kittens, he gets concerned about them. And Sammy sounds like a baby. So she's back at the door. She wants to go back in the room. You okay, Boo? You're scaring the little girl? Boo, you're scaring the little girl? The little girl's scared of you, Boo. She's scared of you, okay? So you're going to be nice, right, Boo? You're going to be nice? My concern is that he's just going to go, like, off running and attacking. And I, I don't want him to do that. You okay, Boo? You okay? Boo, you okay? She might be in the kitchen eating the chicken that Boo did not want to finish eating. So I bought the rotisserie chicken today. And I gave Boo a few pieces. As soon as I um, basically took a piece off, I also bought myself a big salad. And I was like, I'm going to just take a little piece of chicken to put on the salad. And as soon as I did that, then Boo came running because he wanted some chicken. I gave him some chicken and he didn't eat it. Okay, there's Sammy. She's back. Be nice, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Sammy, you want to play? You want to play? Be nice, Boo. Be nice. Be nice, everybody. Be Boo, be nice. Be nice, Boo, okay? Boo, be nice. Be nice. She's a nice girl. You're a nice girl, Sammy. You're a nice girl. Good job, Boo. Good job. You guys want treats? You want me to give you some treats together? Okay, be nice. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Everyone be nice to it. Be nice, Boo! Be nice. Sammy, come here. So Boo's being alpha to Sammy. Sammy! Here, eat that. You like those. Be nice, Boo. Be nice, Boo. Here you go, Sammy. Here, here's some for you. Here's some for you. Here. There you go. Be nice, Boo. There's some for everybody. Okay. There's another one. Be nice. Be nice to the little girl. Okay. Be nice. I feel like tension has risen. There you go, Sammy. Be nice, Boo. Okay, everyone be nice to each other, okay? All right? Everybody be nice, okay? You gonna be nice, Boo? There's kittens wanting to come out of the door. And play, Boo? Okay. 
So one thing that people mention is like keeping both cats busy um, with different toys. Obviously, Bo, 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 come here. Sammy, what are you doing, Boo? Be nice, be nice. So Sammy's back in the room. She spent a total of 10 minutes outside with Boo before she decided she had enough. She's just going back in the room. So I let her back in and I just put uh, the toy on for the cats. So that was good progress for today. I'm going to try to do a little bit every day, hopefully in the afternoon between, you know, two or three cats. Today it was Sammy and Boo. I think it was good progress. I mean, Boo did attack Sammy, but, you know, they're cats. There is a pecking order, and, you know, Boo's alpha and Sammy's alpha. So I'm just happy that nobody got hurt or injured or anything. And, um, you know, Boo was on good behavior at first, but then I could tell his, uh, his stress level just totally increased. And, you know, that was that. So... It's a gradual process, we'll see what happens. It is almost 7 p.m. and all the cats are in the room. I don't know where Nancy is, I don't know why she's not eating. So they're having homemade cat food. This is some of the cooked food made with turkey. And then they're having some of the fresh rotisserie chicken on top and a few crunchies. Now Nancy ate a few pieces of the chicken in the kitchen, so I don't know why she's not eating now. Oh, she's by the window. She's grooming herself. So anyway, the uh, cats are back in their room. They just had a whole bunch of playtime running around the house at top speed. That's what Nancy loves to do. She just runs so fast and jumps so high. So uh, she had a good time. I'm going to let the other cats up. And yeah, so we're good for now. Here's Splash. This is what Splash does. So I have to give him his dinner or his breakfast in my bedroom. There's a little tray on the floor with some water, and I put his plate of food next to it. And then he just hangs out on the bed. He really enjoys his alone time, right, Splash? Yeah, he's always very happy. And then I open the door, and he's just relaxing. Here's Stella. She hangs out on the trampoline down here, and Boo hangs out in this Ikea bed. Stella's Ikea bed. That's where Boo hangs out. And that's where Simba hangs out. That's his favorite bed. Look at Stella's bed. Oh my gosh, I need to clean out all that cat hair. Hey, Stella. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.